If you want to know how to put on the Bragg Polacare Cube Pads, you came to the right spot. We're going to show you how to do it step by step, fast and easy. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video where you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump right into it. Cold therapy is an awesome way to help relieve your pain and swelling after surgery, injury, or just a hard day of being a weekend warrior. So how do you properly use a cold therapy device? Well, I'm gonna show you the proper way how to do this end to end. And once we're done, I'm gonna show you the number one trick to make your cold therapy experience easier. All right, how do we do this? Michelle, take us through the steps of the application of the Breg Polycare Cube pads. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the pad and the part number are correct. You would do this by looking at the front right corner of the pad where the part number will be listed on the white label. Notice this is a sealed bag and once the sealed bag has been opened, it cannot be returned. You will be getting a flyer with your pad that shows the different connectors. The Cube and Kodiak systems have different connectors. So please be sure to make sure that you order the correct pad. The other item you're going to get is a skin warning flyer. You never wanna put the cold pad directly on your skin as it could cause some damage or some frostbite. And the universal protocol for cold therapy is 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Also, please make sure to check with your doctor for any other instructions while you're using the cold therapy device, just to be on the safe side. To protect your skin, we sell sterile pads for each cold therapy pad on our website. You can also use a thin towel or a t-shirt, but please don't put the pad directly on your skin. They come in a sealed package and this is how you apply them. First, you're going to open the sealed package and remove the dressing. You're going to open the dressing up and you're going to see tabs on here. Go ahead and remove those tabs. Once you do that, you're ready to place the dressing onto the pad. Once you've got it securely in place, you're ready to apply it to your body part. So the hip pad is going to come with two straps. These Velcro pieces can be removed and can be adjusted. And that way it helps you fit the strap on a little bit better depending on your body type. All right, so the sterile dressing is in place, the pad is covered, and we're ready to put it on the body. So we're gonna put on the long strap first, which is the one that goes around your waist. So we're gonna attach it here, we're gonna bring it all the way around, and attach it in the front. Now, the straps are designed for different body types, so if you're smaller or larger, it's made to go around you. And on him, it's a little bit longer, so you can always feel free to cut it if you would like. After we apply that one, we're going to apply the one that goes around his thigh, and bring it around and attach it. And the same applies to this one as well. If it's a little bit too long for you, you can just trim it. Now, once you have the pad securely in place, you're ready to get your cooler and then take the hose from the cooler. And before you hook it together, you're gonna to push down these two metal tabs. Then you're going to hook the hose from the pad to the hose from the cooler. And when you hear that click, that means it's in place securely. Now, once we've done that, Allow the patient to get comfortable if they're going to sit in a chair or lie on the bed. Take your power supply, plug it into the back of the lid on the cooler, then plug it into the wall and you're ready to go. Great job, Michelle, in showing us how to do that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to show you our number one trick to help make things easier for you. We have freeze bags that you can use in the cooler and they come in packs of 12. You place three in the cooler and the rest in the fridge, and then you just keep rotating the bags. This way, especially if you're alone, you don't have to keep chasing after ice, and your refrigerator will have a really hard time keeping up anyway. Now that you know how to use your cold therapy machine, let me know in the comments section below if you found this video helpful, 
and do give us a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and let's get back to living.